So this is the 2021 Mini Cooper S F55 with the JCW kit and it's finished in the pepper white exterior coat. You're watching Drivetrain, I'm Abhiram Rajesh and if you want to see cool reviews like this, please consider clicking the subscribe button and also the bell icon on the side of it. So the Mini Cooper has always been a fashion statement and a lifestyle vehicle and really an eye catch on the road. This is what makes Mini special, you know, they're always made to stand out of the rest. The British brand owned by BMW returns for a six-speed manual for 2021 along with an all-new digital instrument cluster. That return of six-speed manual makes it a very quirky urban car. Uh, the Mini lineup consists of three models in ascending order which is the Cooper, Clubman and American-sized Countryman. And each of these models can be chosen in three trims, which is the Cooper, which is the base model, the Cooper S, and the John Cooper Works Performance Series. And on the Countryman models, the all four stands for all-wheel drive. So this is a two-liter four-cylinder turbo engine that we get in the Mini. It's also seen on certain BMW models as well. And it's a very fun engine to drive. For this four-cylinder, it puts an output of 189 horsepower. And that really gives it a kick in the pants feel in sport mode. If you notice in the front, we get hood scoops over here for the bonnet and we also get uh, black stripes over here which is a very nice design element. Here we get these uh, honeycomb kind of grills which look nice and we get these fog lights over here which really add the overall style to this car. We have got an S badging over here on these indicators and this is actually a custom element for the S models only. We get these 17 inch royal spoke uh, dual tone wheels and these are the Pirelli tires and they have a tire size of 20544 R7Ds. And uh, on the side here we get these uh, nice uh, chrome door handles which look nice and these doors have a very nice thud when you close them. Here we get the fuel cap for the car. It's finished in black for the Paddy Hopkirk. Here we have these amazing magnificent Union Jack tail lights and they look really nice when they're lit up at night. And here we get the Cooper S badging over here and we get this uh, jet black treatment for this uh, part of the boot. We get the mini logo over there. So, the Mini Cooper photo has a boot space of 278 litres, which is actually quite uh, practical for a mini. We can see over here that we get the feathers for fixing the seats. Uh, on the rear and you can also uh, pull these buckles on top to uh, fold down the seats like that and then it just comes out as simple as pie and you can just you know put it down here and uh, right now my bags are there that's why it's not completely flat but once you remove all the things on the seat and completely push it down it becomes a flat bed giving you more boot space we also get these uh, twin exhaust and they have an amazing exhaust note The Mini that we have today has a, a dual tone finish for the body with a black roof and we have the white uh, pepper coat uh, paint over here and it looks really contrasting and the Mini looks very attractive in this colour. The interior upholstery that we have on the Mini Cooper S is the Chesterfield leather malt brown and it looks very nice and premium and you also get this the quilt stretching over here which looks amazing. So this is the 8.8 .8 inch screen that we have in the Mini. Uh, on the top iconic trim so let's start with the reverse parking camera so as we can see over here it just comes with adaptive guidelines and we also have the parking sensors shown here and here we get this dial to operate the 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen just like the bmw vehicles so under navigation we can uh, go to map and map it can be again zoomed in or zoomed out using the dial as i showed you earlier then we can also go back and see the different uh, options that we have over here so we have the uh, map information then we have the voice assistant then we also have uh, the root guidance the pointer information traffic information here under my mini we have a lot of uh, things going on so first of all we can start with the vehicle settings in vehicle settings we can uh, first go to lights so in lights you can adjust the interior lighting uh, which is i can enable the ambient light and also change its brightness then under exterior lighting we can uh, choose many of the lights that come on when you start the car or switch off the car 
and you also have the home lights which actually come on when you unlock the car then under doors or key we can adjust the key button settings and also uh, enable different options for your convenience then we can also adjust the speed warning then we can configure green and here we can adjust the auxiliary ventilation for the car which is for example to switch on the AC when uh, for a certain period of time now we can go to the system settings and there we can connect the mobile devices you can adjust the language and the displays which is basically for the head up display the control display and the instrument cluster display then we have the date and time which can be adjusted over here and then we can adjust the sound so we can adjust the treble, bass, balance, fader and volume settings and reset another cool thing is that we have the uh, technology in action so in technology in action we have two subdivisions which is the minimalism and sport display so minimalism usually comes in the green mode when we click on minimalism it shows that the engine is running comfort requirements and when you're braking it shows that it's uh, recharging the battery which is regenerate and braking go back and we can also um, enable the sport display sport displays also come on when you uh, shift the car into sport mode can have an option for sport displays here so we can see that there as well and here when you click on this button it scans the car for any uh, sort of problem so it shows say temperature, engine temperature okay 29 degrees Celsius outside but it's a cool sunglass and say sport activated and then comes the gold part B mini then we can talk about the driving information which is consists of the onboard computer and the trip computer and also there's a really cool thing shown over here where you know uh, the distance between your start time and your end destination then we also have the owner's handbook in the vehicle itself in which you can do picture search, keyword search or any of that sort to actually get to know features of your car. Now the next option that we have is for the mini connected feature and that consists of the mini assistance which means the roadside assistance, customer support and uh, also we can manage the mobile devices which are connected. Then we can go to notification center to see if there's any notifications about vehicle service or any information like that. Then we can go to communication where we can uh, place a call and see our contacts, dial a number or manage the mobile devices which are connected by Bluetooth and also the mini assistance and we can also personalize the menu from this page as well. And this uh, particular system has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support with Bluetooth connectivity. And here we can adjust the AC temperature and one cool thing when you adjust the temperature of minis is there is this illuminated ring. So this illuminated ring has lots of significance and almost every feature of the car when enabled or disabled shows its reflection on this particular ring for example when I adjust the AC temperature right now it's 18 degrees if I want to heat it it shows that white ring going about towards the red side right now it's going towards the blue side also when we adjust the fan speed you can see the white ring that illuminates around then also when we uh, change the car's driving modes so right now we are in mid, it shows the yellow ring. When we are in minimalism green, it shows the uh, green ring. And when we shift back to sport mode, it shows the red ring. And now down here we get the button to switch on or off the parking sensors. And we also have a park assist on this vehicle. Then this is for the stop start system. Then this is for the engine start stop button. So I can switch off the engine. And then I can start the engine again. Then, here we have a button to switch off the dynamic traction control. Click that, the dynamic traction control goes off. And this can be used to enable the launch control, which I'll be showing you shortly. And here we have the button to switch the different drive modes. Here we have the max AC capacity, which can be enabled over here. And also the circulation of air can be adjusted using this button over here. We also have the defoggers. And this is the keys that we get with the Mini Cooper S. Comes with an unlock lock button, which is actually the Mini logo, and a boot release switch. We also get mini written over here behind it's a very nice and funky looking key with a round shape and we get uh, two cup holders over here and some storage space over here now the seats they have this nice amazing quilting on them and they have very nice amount of support on them you know to adjust the tie support by this lever over here you can adjust the reclination by pulling the toggle over there then now let's discover the glove box so this is the glove box that we have on the Mini Cooper. So right now it has the owner's manual and our agreement paper inside. Now let's talk about the dash. So the dash, they have this nice uh, circular rotary vents and the airflow can be adjusted by moving this toggle over here. And on the dash, we get this nice union jack and it looks very beautiful when it's lit up at night. 
then here on top we get another switch which is to adjust the ambient lighting so as we change this switch it adjusts the different different ambient lightings available and now the gear on the mini cooper s is exactly similar to the bmw style gears we have the park button over here the reverse neutral drive and then we have the sport plus mode where which can be used for activating launch control and from taking manual control of things and now if you're talking about the doors they get this nice uh, piano black finish that goes around in the interior and we also get ambient lighting on the door handles and also we can see a big speaker for the Harman Kardon sound system which I'll be showing you right now and also get the bottle holders down there which right now as you can see has a Masafi bottle in it one thing to notice about Minis is that it's got a lot of circles everywhere for example the door handles these AC vents this large screen that is there over here the digital instrument cluster everything is so curvy and bubbly you know like that's a a very unique design element of, which is only unique to minis lights for the vanity mirrors we also get mics on each side uh, and then we get the Harman Kardon uh, premium sound system on the iconic trim so let's start with the sporty steering wheel so we get this uh, red stitching over here which looks very sporty and we get the John Cooper works badging but it doesn't have the John Cooper works engine it's only the sports kit then here on the uh, back we have the paddle shifters and we can increase or decrease the volume of the entertainment system using these buttons then we can also uh, pick a call by pressing this button also we have the mini voice assistant over here and you can also adjust the cruise control features using the switches over here we get the mini badge over here which is, again has a very nice and round shape and everything looks like a bubbly shape you know giving a very nice design element and we also get a mini badge over here and this is the new digital instrument cluster for the 2021 mini models and as you can see it comes with the attack over here the speedo in the center and we get the fuel levels over here and this consists of actually three different screens so it shows you the time over here the temperature outside and also the range that we have left so when me gave us a car we had a full tank of rain so we actually drove it a lot so now right now it's only three bars left and we also have the uh, auto reading over here which is four two three eight kilometers so it's actually a pretty brand new car and also the mileage written over here which is a nine point three liter per hundred kilometers and now we can uh, activate the windshield wipers with spray by pulling the sticker towards yourself and as you can see the wipers have a nice amount of spray on offer and here we have the heads up display on the iconic trim and if you can see a zero over here it is actually the 3d display for speed and also the navigation instructions can be viewed through the screen when you enable them on the navigation and now on the top we have these nice jet like switches and they can be uh, uh, used to operate different controls in the car so here we can if you press this button it switches on the driver side light this switch for the passenger side light we click this button over here it switches on all the lights in the car and now we can open the sunroof by clicking the switch over here so now i'm sat in the rear seats of the mini cooper s and it feels very comfortable i have enough amount of knee room enough amount of headroom you get seat pockets here in the front for keeping things we also get a bottle holder over here which can be used to store like a small bottle we also get the extension of the premium Harman Kardon sound system over here here and we also get this uh, ashtray over here and uh, to let more light into the cabin we can just pull this flap back and let more light into the cabin and it feels very spacious in here with that as it's not the biggest mini on offer so now let's uh, see the procedure for getting into launch control so first what we do is that we switch off the dynamic traction control then what we do is that we switch off the dynamic traction control and then we shift the gear into sport plus mode and then we press hard on the brake and then we press the accelerator and then it says launch control active and then we launch the car and that's the immense thrust that you get when you just launch the car like that using launch control and if you enjoyed this review please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also comment down below which car you would like to see next once again stay tuned have a great day and goodbye